In this video I shall be telling you some stories you may not have heard concerning the angel of dead and destruction, though he is often said to be a fallen angel or simply now a demon. It is interesting to note that he still runs errands for God and accomplishes tasks given to him by God. Now, when God created the archangels as the first tier angels, even before creating the earth, he set them up as the chief monitors of other angels and even the humans that he was yet to create. Their responsibilities includes the guidance of other angels and establishing the desires of God in the heavens. According to the Anthroposophists, after God created the angels, selected seven of them namely, Anael, Gabriel, Michael, Orophiel, Samuel and Zerachiel and gave them the tasks to serve as the time spirits for a period of 360 years each. This means each of them will take turn to be the guardian angel of the world for the period of 360 years, before the next angel takes over. They were simply referred to as the zeitgeist of the world. Now, the way God relates with the angels is often according to their state or class. There are different classes of angels in heaven and each of the classes have different functions. There are the warriors, the messengers, the guardians, the worshippers and many more functions that all bring glory to God in heaven. Now, there are many conflicting stories concerning this angel that I will be talking about from different literatures, which vary from one to another. So I will only try to mention some of the literatures and what he is said to have done as a reference in this video. The angel of dead that I shall be talking about is Samuel, which may sound similar to Samuel, but is not. One of the first myth concerning angel Samuel that is common is that he was one of the top angels in heaven until some of the angels got angry with God for creating humans and placing them higher than the angels in the hierarchy of authority, in accordance to the beings created by God. He was said to have staged a hostile takeover of sovereignty from the Almighty God himself just like Lucifer was said to have done. Although, he was not successful in the coup d'etat, and he was later said to be cast down out of heaven, and he came down to the earth to influence the life of humans into doing evil, and get to build his army for the final takeover from God. Another myth has it that when he came to the earth, he met Lilith the first wife of Adam wandering in the desert aimlessly after she left her husband due to irreconcilable differences concerning their authorities in the home. Even though, the Lord God sent some angels to persuade her to return to her husband, she refused to return. Seeing that Lilith refused to return to her husband, Adam, God decided to create a second wife for Adam and named her Eve. Lilith, who was the first wife of Adam, left her husband believing she was supposed to be head of their home. When angel Samuel met her, he comforted her and took care of her. He later fell in love with her and married her. After some time, when they discovered that everything was going on smoothly for Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, while life was not treating them well outside the garden, they decided to tempt Adam and Eve with the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, so that Adam and Eve will also fall from grace and suffer the kind of life they were suffering at that moment. Teaming up with her second husband, Lilith planned and executed the temptation that led to the downfall of Adam and Eve in the garden. Samuel is also portrayed as the angel of death and was said to be the head of two million angels, including other destructive angels and the ruler of the fifth heaven. Angel Samuel, who was also believed to be the Satan, was also said to be leader of the fallen angels and the twelve-winged seraphim. He was at the beginning of setting up of the creation of the world, where God planned that man is coming to dominate the whole creations of God. Samuel, who was an archangel with many responsibilities, felt threatened that another leader is coming to take away his throne, relegating him to the background. He rebelled against God and was cast down to earth where he took upon himself the task to influence the humans into committing sin. 
one of the first thing that he did was to entice Adam and Eve to eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. He was said to be able to deceive Eve to eat the forbidden fruit while he was riding a serpent in the Garden of Eden. In the literature, Ascension of Moses, which is in the legends of the Jesus, one of apocryphal texts, Moses was one of the prophets that was taken to heaven by God, the others being Enoch. Elijah had an encounter with Samuel in heaven. It was written that when Moses was taken on tour of the seven heavens, he met different angels, one of them was Angel Samuel, who was a very huge angel that it will take 500 years to travel the distance of his height. Apart from that, he was also a terror to behold, as he has eyes covering all his bodies. Moses became afraid that he asked Angel Metatron, who was his tour guide who the creature was and Metatron answered him that his is Samuel the angel of dead. He was said to be the angel that steals souls from men. Incidentally Megaton was prophet Enoch while he was on the earth as a human, according to Book of Enoch. Samuel is frequently depicted as a fallen angel and a supporter of evil than God, for example. He was referred to as Camille, the evil force that looks like a snake in the Gospel of the Egyptians. This probably led to the myth of him becoming the serpent in the Garden of Eden. In the origin of the world of the Apocrypha of John, Sophia accused Yaldaboa, the creator of the world, as Samuel, meaning a blind god, because of the lack of understanding of things around his creation. Samuel was mentioned in the Book of Enoch 1 as one of the Watchers who later became one of the rebellious fallen angels, led by Angel Semiaza. They came to the earth, took wives from the humans and bore children that were giants in the process. According to Quran chapter 20, Angel Samuel was the angel that was responsible for the golden calf that Aaron built for the Israelites, while they await Moses to come down from the mountain. They thought they were just worshipping a statue but in reality they were worshipping a demon because there is a spirit behind every act of worship. In the Kabbalah text, Angel Samuel was a great demon that was married to another angel called Lilith. He and Lilith were the first angels that were created as they are said to came from the throne of glory of God. But sometimes along the line, when God created Adam and Eve and gave them authority over the angels, the issue became a challenge for Samuel and Lilith and they were not happy that God decided to give so much power to the humans, even above them. They were first created and they expected God to give them higher power and authority. This made them to begin to be hostile towards Adam and Eve, to the point that they were responsible for the fall of Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. Now, due to the fact that Samuel and Lilith were producing more demons, God decided to castrate Samuel so that he will not be able to impregnate Lilith again, and so that they will not produce more demons that will take over the world. In Zohar, one of the Kabbalah text, Angel Samuel was said to be the commander of the heavenly forces. He rides on the serpents as his horse. In the process of time, he was overtaken by lust for the female angel, and in the process slept with angels na Amma. Aishith Zeniuim and Agrit Bat Molot. Even though the text confuses Samuel and Azazel, it is mostly ascribed to be Samuel. In the text, Exodus Rabbah, Samuel was equated with Lucifer as the accuser of the brethren while Angel Michael is the supporter of the children of Israel. It was believed that he was the one that came to take the soul of Moses and was opposed by Angel Michael. As related in the book of Jude, where Angel Michael rebuke him from taking the body of Moses to hell. Angel Samuel was said to be the angel that influenced the sacrifice of Isaac, until God had to stop Samuel in his tracks and made Abraham stop the human sacrifice of his son that he was about to do. Samuel was said to be the same angel that had a combat with Jacob, the son of Isaac, when he ran from home after stealing the birthright of his brother Esau. Angel Samuel was also said to be the angel that took control of King Manasseh, where he was called Belial or Satan just to accuse Isaiah for treason. 
Though Angel Samo is one of the angels with most conflicting biography, it is however established that he is no good at all. Thank you for watching.